Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Videos and Tutorials. In today's video we are going to see how to name Scratch project. And uh, as you can see in this thumbnail, it's very easy. All you have to do is find this Scratch project field type whatever you want for your name, for the name of your project. In my case I have typed my first game, you can call it whatever you want and it should be somehow logical and sane in terms of uh, try to be descriptive. If you're making a pl platformer game and you have some kind of name for it, name it like that. If you don't, uh, at least name it platformer, platformer test, uh, real-time strategy, um, adventure game airplane game if you don't have a um, final name for your game and that's it let's see that in practice uh, this button is let me first undo to have some shiny blocks on my screen and this button is on the main menu bar or however you call it this blue bar which goes from the top left to the top right and here where I click and it becomes white now is field is a place where you by default have scratch project but if I'm for example making some kind of um, what we were making in um, tutorials yeah dress up game dress up game uh, you can have those letters connected or put some space between them uh, you can call it uh, test if you just want to test uh, some blocks to see how they work or you can call it like version version 1 if you have different versions of your game or anything you like, anything you want, anything which makes sense to you. So again, as with everything we have learned so far, it's all about you, your workflow. Scratch is very user-friendly and you can make it work for you the way you want the way you like the way you make things uh, and uh, like to make things so uh, uh, use those benefits uh, to your as your uh, advantage use those features which uh, scratch already gave you and don't bother and don't uh, think about how other people use it very in uh, their workflow if you don't do not agree or find that unintuitive or slow or um, not very logical and so on so uh, again uh, this one is important on a longer term or if you are making a game with your friends and uh, in some studio or team or in school where you have a couple of uh, guys and girls working on same game and uh, you should then agree how to call your game how to call your project because that will uh, save you some time and make it uh, easier for all of you to work and be on the same page that's it for this video thanks for watching see you in next one bye for now